my name is Green, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Now, this is going to be the last episode that I'm wearing my crisp. Did... Huh? This is going to be the last episode that I wear my crisp. I thought I heard something. Wait, this is green now. Does that mean it's? Does that mean it's fully fixed? It's so weird, that noise is so weird. Does that mean that- I think Mumbo must have fixed it. <gasps> From your secret Santa impulse, oh, and I fixed your mailbox. Oh my goodness, now that is a- Really annoying, <laughs> really annoying. <laughs> wow, look at how many. Three stacks of emerald block. Okay, how do I turn it off? Okay, it does it does turn off. Please tell me the noise stops as well. Where are these note blocks? This is better than it was before. Impulse, you're an absolute legend. What a oh, what a nice gift. That is really thoughtful. And also look, look all the all the chests are green. It's oh, of course cuz it's Christmas. Oh, where's my ender chest? Oh. It's exactly the same color. That is a serious gift. It kind of makes the gift that I gave Iskow seem really weak now. <laughs> Oops. That was a really cool gift. Thank you so much, Impulse. And I'm really sorry for what's going to happen in the prank war. Anyway, so we've got to crack on with today's episode. Now, there's two main things that I want to do. The first one is sleep, because it's nighttime. <laughs> no. Well, there's two things I want to do now that it is day. And the first one is I need to set a list of everything we're going to need because I drew <laughs> on paint, MS Paint, a very crudely drawn image of how I kind of see the base looking. And I'm kind of going for this Stark Tower modern house motif. And <laughs> this is what I drew. Yeah, it's not, it's not great, but... That means we're going to need a lot of resources, and I think we can make something really, really cool in this space. And to know what we need, I'm going to build a very quick bunker with all of the different kinds of materials that we might need. I also think we probably need a beacon, but I'm not a rich man. I don't have any spare beacons, so looks like I have to do this the long way. I could get a beacon set up and then someone else could donate their the top block for it. That might be a good idea. Okay, so I've got my room completely hollowed out. Now, it's not massive, but that's all we need because this is just going to be where we put chests and tell the other guys on the team what we need in terms of resources so that we can make our headquarters. Now, I'm actually going to use a bit of a different technique here. What I'm going to do is add some sea lanterns behind it and then some snow blocks all the way until the very last pixel. Oh, yep, I just messed up. All the way to the very last pixel, and then just leave this little bit of a slither, and that will actually give me lots of light without having to... It's a, it's a really neat way to cover up your lighting. And if you do it in like a bunch of different lines like this, you can create a very neat pattern that looks very modern. Oh my goodness, I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. I was like, why isn't it doing it? Oh, for it, the sea lanterns melt the snow. Oh my goodness. I'm so stupid sometimes. I've just been placing all this snow and ruining it. Oh my goodness. At least I can try and save a little bit here. Oh, I feel like such an idiot right now. <laughs> I could have very easily gone on for a long time without realizing what I was doing. I was like, I'm sure that I've done these before. What's going on? Well, this hasn't gone entirely to plan so far, but this is the general idea. And then I'm thinking that we have the chests that run along the sides. And then I have like an entrance and exit here with a giant G in the middle to symbolize the G team. Or some people suggested that we call ourselves G Force. Now that is a movie. But I think that is also a pretty cool name. And then it's not too late to change the name. I'm not, I'm not, people liked my joke about having G in the name. So I, I, I don't think anyone would mind if we changed it. So this is going to be like the little mass storage collection system that we're going to make. Now I haven't actually got enough chests. Oh, that is weird to see, isn't it? Red, green. 
Now, I've actually not brought enough chests with me. There's actually quite a lot of things that I haven't brought with me. However, you can kind of see this place coming together. It is just like a modern bunkery type thing. My main priority now is I need a lot more snow and I need to go and grab some chests. Now, can I sleep before that creeper sees me and blows me up? Yes! <laughs> Very, very close. <laughs> oh man, that was a proper danger sleep right there. Oh, I'm glad I took the risk. I almost bailed. I almost bailed on it. Okay, so I need to go over to the Christmas district, actually, and it's rather fitting as it is Christmas Eve. Happy holidays to everybody that celebrates on the 24th, and happy holidays to everyone that celebrates on the 25th, and happy holidays to everybody that doesn't celebrate at all. So we're going to go over to the festive district to go and check out where we can get the snow, because I think they will have lots of snow golems there. And I haven't actually checked this out since it started being made, so... This will be a really good opportunity to take a look at what's been made at all. Oh my goodness, this looks awesome! Wow! It's a shame that it wasn't finished in time for Christmas Eve, but I mean, look at this. You, you, you don't need to imagine too much to see what this would all look like finished. But oh my goodness, this is awesome. Giant tree, really nicely decorated trees here. Snow everywhere, little village. Oh, this is, this is so cool. Little cars, there's the secret Santa sleigh. Oh man, this is this has got me in the Christmas spirit. Well and truly. I wish it was finished, but it's really good. I kind of feel bad I didn't really contribute anything. Oh, there's even a little play going on. Oh, this is the cutest thing. And Tango's king for some reason. Look at this, they're so organized. Like, they've got things rough. Look, all the red blocks, all the wood. Blue blocks, cobble, ah, oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Wait, do you see what I see? I, are they, who is this? Whose stuff is this? It's not labeled. Are they poultry man? I think they, they might be poultry man. I mean, that's conclusive evidence right there. Whoever this is, have you, have you ever seen whoever this is and poultry man in the same room? Didn't think so. Oh yeah, I came here for snow. <laughs> Let's go and find that snow golem. Here he is. So, you stand here, and you just click and hold. I'm getting really bad flashbacks to when I had to make the infinity room. I thought I'd never have to do this again. <laughs> okay, that should do it. And that's pretty much the only use I've had for the festive district, but this is really nice. This is actually really, really nice. I think the prank war might have slightly gotten in the way of the festive district. <laughs> There we go. That looks pretty good. It's not it's not uh, it's not the best. Maybe I could do a few more things to brighten this up, but at, at the end of the day, this is just a temporary storage place. So, I don't think there's any point in getting super attached to it in any sense because I think this won't really last that long. This is just a place for us to gather everything that we need. And then all I need to do is put in what is in each one. At this point, I'm totally guessing what we need, but if we're going for like a Tony Stark tower, I think we're going to need very similar blocks to the ones that I have in my base, which means white concrete, a lot. It's going to mean a lot of cyan terracotta, a lot. And it's going to mean a lot of cyan stained glass as well. So those things plus some extras, just trying to think what we might need. Ah, stone. If we're going to make some sort of base, like, you know, an actual base for it to sit on, a foundation, that is, we're going to need a lot of rocks to be able to do that. That's a pretty good start, but I'm, like, the only other person apart from Zombie Gleo that's on, and, like, I don't think any gathering is going to happen over the holidays, but hopefully after Christmas we can all di sink our teeth in and get cracking on this build. So here's kind of how I see our team functioning. I'm gonna make sure that we build something really epic. I'm hoping that Tango can provide us with some of the farms that we might need. You know, like uh, some super smelters, and maybe a food farm, that kind of thing. Because I don't think we really want to use too much of our own resources because this sort of thing is very expensive. So we gotta like get together, we gotta make our own little farms within the base and protect them from the other team. 
So I'm hoping that Tango can... And Iskal, actually. Iskal's very good at redstone. I'm hoping all of us together can make some excellent farms. Ah, I've just finished. It took well over an hour, but I've cleared out everything here. The idea is that we don't really need to protect it, right? Because there's a massive ceasefire, as you can see, the big white flag over there. But I don't really want them to see what we're doing or go snooping around at the same time. Like, if we just have everything up here, they're going to see what we're up to. So, I've created this little room, and this is the final product. So this is the very first G room. <laughs> I've just put G. I, I kind of like the name G Force. I'm not going to lie. So I've got all these chests, as I said earlier, about what we might need to collect. But I've also created some bunk beds, which I'm actually going to use now because I need to make it day. And I should probably leave a couple of signs. I've also got a couple of water elevators going in and out. I think this is a really good start. We can really build from here. And then I've got like a little feature wall here with those little uh, holes in there. And it looks really cool. I think everything here fits rather well. I wish I had some end rods, but you know, I've, I've used quite a lot of resources to make this thing. So hopefully now we can get the team together and add everything else. Now I'm going to add an ender chest here. And that should complete the very first thing that we're going to do. Now I want to go and complete my aviary that I started last episode. I should really use the nether more, it's much quicker. What? Oh no. No. Don't kill me, please. Oh my goodness. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Something. Something's gone. Something's gone really wrong with the nether portal. I don't know what's up, but that... Holy heck. What is going on? Hold on, I want to go and see. Is that... Is it just like a one-time fluke? Nope. Nope. We're in the end. Wait, we're in like a end... What? We're in like a end nether hybrid? Can I fly? Oh my goodness. We're in the nether. But we're also in the end? What on earth? Oh my goodness, this is like the coolest thing. This is like... Something has really gone wrong... With our <laughs> the Hermitcraft server. <laughs> oh. Oh no. I need to go back. I need to find my way back. Hey, there's something I recognize. Oh, they were, okay, we're in the nether hub now. What the heck is going on? Wait, this is so confusing. Now, I assume that this will get fixed. But at the same time, this is awesome. I've never seen... This is like the Farlands 2.0. How has this happened? I think we should find our nearest portal and get the heck out of here. If we travel through the Netherland... We might be able to find a portal out of here. Something's gone really, really wrong. Just don't look at them. All right, I think we're just going to pretend like nothing is wrong. And we're going to go and make <laughs> a happy place. I'm kind of curious what happens if I go through my portal now. Yep, still here. This is so strange. Okay, well, um... As we do on Hermitcraft, and we're just going to pretend uh, nothing's wrong. Wait, what? Oh, come on! I think we can conclude that the nether is fully out of action for now. Now, up at the top of my base here, in this very last section, I started making my aviary. That's what I want to continue making today. How did- How- No! How did you guys get outside? How is that- did I, you were right here? I see. They must have just teleported outside. Uh, <laughs> and hey, there's a chicken in here. We got all the birds. The parrots are so much cuter. <laughs> so my idea here is to create sort of like a bowl of grass here, and then I will add in a load of trees. And because I've got so much height, I've got a lot of opportunity to make big, big trees. I just hope I've got enough time. You know what? It already feels really nice in here. 
that that ceiling is not great because I haven't done any interior, but oh my, I, I'm really enjoying the look of this. This is like a really tranquil space already. There's kind of a lot you can do here. Like you can place some melons around, like all the different colors are, this is going to be really nice. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with this room, but it's just relaxing, I guess. I'm going to do my best to hide the lighting by placing some sea lanterns and then adding a carpet over the top, a green carpet, because the green carpet will actually look a bit like moss and it should fit in quite nicely. And it will stop things spawning up here as well, which is a never ending problem. One thing I think I would like to create here though is a pond, like some water feature. So I might have to take all this out to make it. I don't think it'll be too big, but it should be big enough to put a couple of fish in. Adding some stones around to be like pebbles. That'll make this seem really nice as well. And of course, I need to plan out a couple of really big trees, which I think should start about here. And maybe one slightly off to the center here. It's actually <laughs> quite a lot taller than I thought. So these trees might have to be very, very big to make use of the space. Or it can just be eye level. I don't really mind. I need to go down and get myself a little fish or two. You guys will do just fine. I wasn't particularly inventive with these names, so we've got uh, we've got fish name and fish. <laughs> so we'll leave those two to get acquainted with their new pond. And now we just got to make some nice trees. So this is the progress that I've made so far. I think I'm pretty happy with how it looks on the floor. It looks very foresty, very tranquil, but I'm gonna have to add trees. And I think I'm gonna have to add like a medium sized, some large ones here and here, and really fill this out to the best of my ability. Maybe even make like little patches of green grass floating here or something along those lines to make use of the height. I'm not entirely sure. But unfortunately, I can't spend much more time doing this because it's nearly the end of the episode. I am desperately running out of time to make this one today. We need to do one more thing before the end of the episode. Down we go. Ow. <laughs> Didn't even land in the water. <sighs> yes. I've seen a few people say that they know who Poultry Man is, but... Nobody knows who Poultry Man is, because <laughs> it's certainly not Grian. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't even notice this. What is this? There's no signs? I, di I didn't make this. Grian or Poultry Man did not make this. Does anyone know what this is? It's like a supercomputer. This is awesome. If anyone knows where this came from- Wait, how did they get access to the Poultry Cave? Oh, or the coop. Maybe we should call this place the coop. <laughs> How on earth did they find my secret, my super secret hidey hole? If this is a supercomputer, I'm going to use this to make some like poultry vlogs or something. Also, why am I eating chicken? Uh, that's probably the, the worst thing that I could be eating. Anyway, we need to get somebody back because... Someone did not build something in my base and I've left it a few days and I know that certain someone that may have not built something in my base won't be around for a while so this gives it a good opportunity to catch up i just realized how bad it is that the nether is all messed up there's a lot of stuff in there not only was there a lot of work but like my elytra's running out and i use the pigman xp thing like every day so i'm a little bit scared i hope it gets fixed soon i'm gonna have to be conservative now I'm going to show Mumbo how we do it for real. I'm going to show Mumbo how we chicken for real. Oh my goodness. There's still chickens here from the chicken bomb. Unbelievable. Anyway, what if we just change? We go inside here and we create a dispenser machine. I don't think Mumbo actually goes in here, so this could be pretty good. So this is pretty simple, I think. My redstone ability is not great. But every time an item goes through here, it then activates that as it goes into the dispenser. So all I need to do is link this up to the dispenser itself. Now I think it's time for Mumbo to get a taste of his own medicine. So you guys need to tell him Poultry Man did definitely didn't build something in his face. Po poultry Man, not green. <clears throat> not, not green, Poultry Man. 
Poultry Man did not build something in his- Did not build something in Mumbo's base. You've got to go and tell him exactly the same way he got me. We're going to get him as well. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. So that was much easier than I thought, and I did I did look it up, I'm not gonna lie. I had to look up a way to do it. So, there's 10 eggs in the dispenser. That powers this just enough to give it that. And then, if one more falls through... Now, these, are, these little chickens are not quite ready, but if one egg falls through... There we go, you can hear it going off. It's dispensing the eggs. Now, I hope that these are actually producing some chickens. I don't know if they do if they're dispensed. They must do. Surely they must do. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's plug it full of eggs. So what if we plug them in here like this? There we go. So let's plug these in. We'll see that it's dispensing... Ah, uh, yep. It's, def it's definitely producing the chickens. Not a very good rate. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So now all we have to do is load up this up here with more little chickies. So when these guys grow, they will <laughs> they will cause the same mayhem that Mumbo caused Grian. All right. And I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you all have a fantastic holiday season, whether you celebrate or not. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. And good bye. Don't forget to tell Mumbo that Poultry Man may or may not have built something. Definitely didn't build something. Definitely didn't.